Gretzky uh, meant to me and means to the world of hockey. So to be amongst these guys is absolutely incredible. Even Oscar as a boxer, what he's meant to the world of boxing is just incredible to be amongst these great athletes. How emotional were you today, Luke? Uh, I, w I was okay. I was just, you know, I kept going back and forth on what you're going to say, you know, and then my wife and I, we kept working on it, and, uh, but I was just, uh, I was, uh, I, I was okay. It's not like playing a game, and, uh, and uh, it's just, uh, you know, I think su tonight surprised me a little bit. Uh, my wife surprised me, Dan did, and Rob, and, you know, it's just, so it's, uh, and I didn't even know up to today that Wayne was coming, so that's pretty neat. How about looking at it? How, how do you see it right now? Course, definitely scoring a goal. <laughs> <laughs> Does it look like you That's enough? Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no questions there. Yeah. That's the smile I've had my whole game, the whole time I've played the game. Did you pose? I had, how did they get the. You I don't know. Do, I really don't know how they. I had nothing to do with it. They, uh, <laughs> they picked some picture and they, they went off of it, but yeah. I, I really don't know. No, I didn't pose for it for sure. I hope you've got to run, run around here and say, just jump up there occasionally just to say hello to them. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Sum <laughs> up tonight in a couple words. Uh, humbling. It's a very humbling experience. I, like, I mean it. I was just a kid playing a game and uh, just very, very grateful for all the great things that have happened to me. But it's, uh, I don't know, it's more than two words. I'm sorry, That's but okay. it's, humbling is the word. With uh, so many accomplishments, Hockey Hall of Fame, uh, Jersey retirement, how does tonight sum up with those? Like, are those? Is this right up there with that? Oh yeah, it's it's something that you, you don't you don't know, you don't expect, and then it it, uh, it happens. You know, things happen like this, and uh, it's just it's it's hard to explain. It's very hard to describe in the words, but uh, it's like I told before this week. Uh, I'm always trying to push and make the Kings better. So I've been fighting to get more Kings player in, in, in the plaza. Like, so I said, well, if it has to be me, I'll take it. <laughs> but I just, I just think, you know, we, we want to have, like, more exposure for the Kings. So I think it's great. How about having that era uniform on? Is that perfect? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's great. It took a lot of pride. That's why one of the reasons we came back to black and silver was that. And, uh, and um, you know, it was uh, one of those things that... Uh, you know, was important, and I love that era. Yeah, I broke records there. You know, we had a great run as a player. I had great runs after that, but you know, they, Mike Altieri and his staff and the organization—they picked that era. They didn't ask me; they just did. That's great. You know, Staples Center is you know your home rink on the ice and off the ice. And how do you feel that now you'll be celebrated outside Staples Center every single day? It's it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. I mean, I know here they get over 250 events, and uh, you know they you know you get all the People will be coming by and looking at the statue. I think it's pretty amazing. Uh, Neil, one of the common things that was being talked about throughout the whole thing was was your speed. And I think there's a serious side to it as well. You may have been overlooked a bit. That may have been why you dropped in the draft because of speed. Does it, you, obviously, speed's important, but did you, did you symbolize the fact that, yes, speed's important, but there are other factors to the game, and do you think sometimes kids are overlooked because of speed? Um... It, yeah, because you never know about, about the size of the heart of someone, you know, and how much, what kind of price they're willing to pay to be successful and to play. And that was the one thing you couldn't have known about me. No one could have known it. The scout that drafted me, Mr. Mr. Smart, he knew because he saw me every game. Mm -hmm. He lived in, in our city where I played. In the, and then, you know, if you would have seen me four or five games, you probably would have never seen that. But over 70 games with a bad team, he was able to see that you know, the, the, the love that I had for the game, and I think that's what he bet on. Did it ever hurt you, though? Did you, were you ever hurt because people No, I never did. I just, I just, I didn't care. I just, uh, I, didn't, I didn't even have a mission to show anybody that they were wrong. I just wanted to play. Yeah. I just wanted to be in the NHL, and I was going to give my best shot every day. What Would advice you, do you have for upcoming hockey players who want to follow in your footsteps? You know, the first thing I say, if it's work, don't do it because it's, it takes a tremendous amount of work. And uh, I ask parents, actually, when their kids play, I go, is it hard to wake them up at 6 a.m. to go to practice? <laughs> the minute they say yes, I go, just tell them, just have fun, because, you know, I was up at 4 for those. Right. And uh, you just, you got to be passionate. You can't teach passion. And, you know, that's why kids should do what they want to do, whether it's hockey or tennis or 
or be a doctor. They should they should always strive to to reach their their dream. But just have fun and work hard because and you know they, it's great to live your dream. What would you tell your younger Last self? Hmm? What would you tell your younger self? Work hard on your skating. <laughs> 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 I, I don't know what I would tell my younger self. I would just. Uh, if I knew what was going to happen in the future, I'd go, man, enjoy every minute. It's going to be a fun ride. <laughs>